Right, hello, this is Lady and the Frogs. So, you know, I feel like I have to prove that I'm Lady and the Frogs. Um, although the person who stole my Instagram account and that handle has now chucked out the username. But here are the frogs anyway. The point is, is that they've still got photos of Stephen on there. He's, he's the one who's violated. Anyway, this is a haul video because I am processing stuff today and I may as well show you. There will be duplicates in here, only about one or two. Um, it's just I have no idea what's been part of a haul video, what's not. Um, and frankly, it's all... I've got at least five boxes in the spare room which haven't been processed. Um, and they're all sort of like waiting. I was going to try and split them into sort of like summer stuff and not, um, but that's not going to happen. I know that this has been on a previous video, but this has been laundered um, because it had Bongella in the bleeding pocket <laughs> when I got it. Um, I know that it was pretty grim. So I know that you've seen this Adidas top. Uh, so that's been sort of like kicking around. I wasn't going to do any menswear and then I thought, just do some menswear because they, don't, they need doing and I think some of that stuff there I think that needs laundering and I've got a whitewash coming up so I'm going to do that so yeah I am an eBay reseller I do have a part-time job um working in a charity shop so most of this stuff you know, all of this stuff has come from that charity shop because pretty much um I just find it in the course of my day I rarely go sourcing now because the whole aim of me going back to work was I was going to move back. I was going to move into doing Lego. Uh, I mean, there is Lego here. <laughs> that's not that's not very like Lego-ish. Uh, that looks that that's more like a, a Lego brick that people would recognise. There is Lego here, but because I keep finding bits, I um, keep picking it up. So let's jump in jump jump into the hall so these i picked up yesterday i was um and r in about these if they were in my size they would be mine um i say that but it's got one of my pet hates um this is one of my pet hates about modern clothes um unfinished hems what is this about some of my nicest clothing that i've really liked i've ended up having to throw away because it's worn out too quickly because for some reason they just have raw hems that aren't sewn and I mean I know I could sew them myself but it's not so not the point this would have been expensive when it was new um so this is under the stories very picky about what I pick up with under the stories but these are belted trousers they need a debobble um but they're wide leg they're wide leg kilot type things so i think they will sell based on the style all right let's we need to we need to back up here a bit people always like to see the uh, mini bar <laughs> yeah so um wide leg i think they're only a size 10 though right i'm going to put these in order i need to put the men's to one side and the women's because of different mannequins you can't see my mannequins are behind the tv i have a little space behind the tv where i sort of sneak them this you've seen um i've actually processed this once but i put it at the very bottom and it got all creased <laughs> so i'm having to redo that that's just a karen millen dress that has been in the previous haul this is quite gorgeous and needs to be listed asap I may well make sure that the last things that I iron are these dresses so that they're the first thing that I list. So this is Bowden. This is 100% silk. And this is a very nice long dress, fully lined and 100% silk. And I mean, that has got to be somebody's choice for a wedding. So priority and then we've got this this is a fat face dress so 
this will be really something somebody's choice for a holiday or summer or just knocking about pockets belted I think it's nice um, I wouldn't wear it myself I'm not a dress person I like I like the security that I feel in trousers I always have <laughs> even when I was a brownie I hated wearing the dress and I insisted on wearing the joggers uh, which weren't a thing back then. Yeah, you see, this is more my thing. Um, so I was—I didn't go looking for this in the charity shop. I was standing on the till, and somebody brought this up, and then decided they didn't want it. I've got there's a I've done quite a lot with that, and that people decide they don't want something, and I'm like, well, I'll have that then. <laughs> so hell, bunny. There's also the case of a lot of people bring stuff up, and I just think, oh, wow, I miss so much stuff which wouldn't matter if I didn't know about it because let's face it, there's all of all of us are missing out on stuff at charity shops, but it only hurts when you know about it. Yesterday, somebody put some sweaty Betty leggings, um, the type that were really patterned that probably would get around the 40 mark. So they put them on the counter for me to ring it up and they had lots of other stuff. They were definitely resellers, I think, uh, because of the type of stuff they were picking up. But there you go. Um, if they watched me on here, they would know. They'd probably say hello unless, I don't know. Anyway, cropped trousers, um, Hell Bunny. I do quite well with Hell Bunny. Hell Bunny is one of those brands which I used to sell because I used to sell my own stuff, obviously, before I was a business. And um, for that reason, I still seem to have quite a decent algorithm with it. Not quite what where it was, but okay. This damn thing. I was trying to put this out yesterday, so I only picked this up yesterday, and as you can see, it's, it's a dress, it's a velvet dress, this is, this is very much the style of the 90s, um, and I'm going to have to repair it, because there's lots of seam repairs that are required on there, so that's going to end up going back in the box for me to repair, with, but then I forgive it because it's 30 years old. So this dress, I was going to put it out. But obviously it kept falling off the hanger and then I went to look on it to see if I could hook the hanger through it and then I saw Miss Selfridge and I was like hmm well, that looks pretty old so yeah that looks pretty old it says it's a size stripping 14 it is not um that's very faded you can barely see that it's a size 14 um but yeah that's vintage and uh, the other giveaway that is vintage is it says made in the UK on the care label which is also very faded and because i know that velvet was you know velvet was very popular back then it's this is probably more of a winter wear dress so there's no the fact that this is now going to sit in my sewing pile probably isn't that bad uh, but you can see there on the back um it is obviously there on the shoulder blade it gets pulled a fair bit so those need putting right because the seam is just undone a bit. Not something, you know, something that I can do. So I'll put that there. Uh, what have you got here? This is another thing that was on the floor, which would not stay on the hanger. Okay, this has got a hole in it, which I haven't seen before. Right, so, where's my thing? I've been in here. I've shunted everything around. So in my Vera Wang, um, body butter pot I have a selection of pegs so these are really useful so whenever I find a flaw with something so um, this is why I like to iron things because sometimes when you iron things you'll find something so I've got a hole in it there this isn't I owned an art about picking this up because I didn't necessarily think that this would be something that's sold so I'm just going to stick that on there so that I know that there's a flaw nearby so it is just a jumper it's a lightweight jumper uh the back panel is completely silk and i know that there's cashmere within the fabric and it's joseph i know that this is very expensive you know um it's very expensive to buy the resale's okay with it it's you know um i'll probably get about 
25 to 30 for that i know that there's people who can push the envelope with this i am very happy to accept lower offers because all of this stuff i got for three pounds three four or five pounds that's the structure well some of it's two pounds actually um that's the structure that's at my the charity shop that i work at it's cancer research you know it used to be uh, how do we do it three two one shop but now it goes up to five pounds so i know that a lot of people are like probably upset about the fact that that happened but it's so that they don't send so much stuff to the ebay shop so what my manager actually said and what one of the supervisors actually said is that a lot of the stuff which they're sending to the ebay shop is coming back because the those who are running the ebay shop for cancer research are finding that a lot of stuff that they put on auction because they put all of it on auction more or less it's just not getting any of the interest or any of the bids so they're just finding it a waste of time and they're like well for the cost of like posting it and faffing around and all of this may as well just put it in our shop and get a fiver for it because <laughs> that's their that's their theory so it kind of works out in their in a favor for that but it doesn't say much about those of us who sell on ebay does it um yeah so i do a lot of auctions i've just started doing auctions again and i'm finding that i'm not really getting the traffic that i used to with it but um it is what it is this is to supplement my income now from that so after all that ramble this um paid four pounds for this this is all stuff which i've got recently so this is all saints again i am picky with the all saints but you know sometimes when it's three or four pounds it's it's neither here nor there i always because i follow people who you know sell who buy elsewhere i'm aware that our prices are good up in the north so that is hearts yin and yang print on there i've looked at other solds for this it's only 20 pound which is a shame i might try and get 25 we will see there's a high chance that i will put things up for it slightly higher at the moment because i've got a 20 percent coupon running <laughs> um so i don't want to like lose out completely uh this was only three pounds it is only extra small another thing that was falling off the hanger and it was annoying me and then i saw that and i was like huh okay you can come with me oh, that's got birds on it birds of prey that's what i need i need a bird of prey to get rid of my pigeon issue right so yeah it is a thin blouse so ideal for this time of year um and it's got all of the distinct type things what does that say it says rainbow yeah um i've had the rainbow stuff before it sells quite quick yeah so yeah really cool floral this is the first time in ages i found a disigual piece that's very disigually <laughs> so there we go first time finding i've um been able to tick off a few of the my bo bolos this these last two weeks um one of which i've had to put in the wash because i found it yesterday i was thrilled <laughs> really cheered me up <laughs> um and then i was just like whoa this smells bad i swear it's the household of a smoker so that went in the wash straight away anyway this doesn't this smells nice um so this is brand new with tags i have seen it before um in the charity shop i've served customers who were buying it um so i have looked at it before and i don't think the sell through is as good as some people say i know that this is supposed to be very expensive on the website so marla Wen. It appears to be a QVC brand from what I know, but this is new with tags, uh, t-shirt dress. It, it says P3X, so I'm taking it that that's 3XL. It's very big dress, so I would imagine that I'm going to do quite well with that. At least £30, if not 40 I mean, I know that some people can command much better prices than I can, Um but I just, I've had a really nice uh, Kim & Co dress on for my shop for ages. It's got monkeys on it. It's like a maxi dress. I thought, 
because it's my style and I like it, I thought I'll try it for 30 and I thought I'd get it. Um, it's not happening for me. That's um, Kim and yeah, Kim and Co. Kim and Co. I seem to sell for around £25. So I'm wondering if maybe this is going to be in the same ballpark. But I will try for, for, for 35 to 40 Um I'll check the comps again. I just don't want to get stuck with stuff. But, you know, maybe I can get 40 based on the fact that it's 3XL. But then I also think I don't like taking advantage of people just because they're a bit bigger. <laughs> so you, you know what I mean? I just, that feels wrong in itself to me. So another first time finding this week. Um, this is the second time I've, I've found two pieces of this. Um, the other one should be in here. Lord only knows where it's gone. What's that? Oh my life. I, I know that the other thing is in here because it's horrendous wool piece, which probably won't sell very well. This is why I must set um, what I'm asking for. So I've seen people before pick up wool London and I've never found it. Um, this is probably the piece which is going to sell more because um, of the season. So navy blue, people like navy blue. Um, and this is tencel and cupro well oh, it's made in england so that must be why so it, it's it's proper made in england uh it's not going to focus yeah i was really pleased to find that so this is what they regard as vegan silk so i should better sell it based on that vegan silk i haven't checked how much the price is going I've only got the, the door cracked a little bit and somebody's decided to start smashing something outside. So yeah, really, really pleased to find that. So that should at least be 25 to 30. And I've only paid three pound. Did I? I think I paid four. So this was, the, so this is a weird story you see behind that and the other piece which I found. That's this one, isn't it? Yeah, so let's let's go straight in there with the other one. So this is the first time I found it. So this was all last week. So this it, this is a top as well. I think that is that glitter. It's got glitter on it. It seems like a little crisps on it as well. I'm sure I've just seen a hole. Let's hold it up to the window. Is it a hole or is it glitter? Something odd going on there. Anyway, so this is the first time I saw it. So this was on. Because things get chaotic and nobody's you know, buying jumpers, the jumpers is always like ram packed at the moment. So one of the things that I do do in the course of the day when I'm working is to go through the jumpers and take out all the stuff that's not supposed to be there, all the little tops and the rest of it should be elsewhere. And I was walking past, you know, just um, sort of moving stuff and somebody's obviously picked this up and then put it back down and left it on the front there. And I was like, huh? Oh, oh, Wall London. Yeah, and I was like, I just don't believe it. Yay! Uh, this says it's an extra small. So, yeah, it is log and look because it's not extra small, is it? <clears throat> I don't think there's anything special about it, this, um, this one. So I found that one and then literally two days later in exactly the same place, hanging, put out of place, was that top there that I just showed you. Oh, it's got silk in it, silk and cotton in it, this is. So isn't that weird? It's like, I must keep checking there now to this one little spot in the charity shop is like the seashore washing up bits for me because it knows that I'm not specifically looking, I'm working. So yeah, I've got this jumper, which will have, it does need a D bobble on the back. I feel like there's a hole there, but I think I'm just, my, I just want this, you know, I'm seeing problems where there aren't problems. Has somebody mended that there? No, it's just, it just, so that needs to be bobbling. Not really something I want to get into, but just, you know, that's life, isn't it? So it must have been somebody. Oh no, this isn't what I thought it was. I thought this was um, Kin by John Lewis. So this is quite a find. I feel like there's going to be flaws on this. Right, so. <clears throat> Monsoon, size 12. 
that is an oldish uh, label, a vintage-ish label. And this is a bias cut dress. Everybody's been talking about vintage bias cut dresses uh, by Monsoon. And now I, I, I have one. <clears throat> you know, there's stuff, you know, what I think what is true what they say, what's meant to be for you, <laughs> you will find. Another thing that I think had fallen off the hangers. A lot of my colleagues, they don't use these. And I, I will rehang and then I'll go, ooh. Um, but then there's, for the most part, the stuff which is on the floor is boohoo and pretty little thing because sheen and that, they're so cheap. Well, they don't do these so that people's clothes don't fall off the hangers. That's why you, sh you shouldn't buy fast fashion because it drives everybody up the wall in every way. This is so floaty and beautiful, this dress. Um, and because I've not positioned the camera correctly, I can't show you, but wow. And I think it's got an element of silk in it. Uh, there's a lot of material here, so I can't find the care label. <laughs> right, here we are. Oh, what on earth is this? Triacetate. Triacetate. So it's not silk, it's called triacetate. So I think that's just... It, maybe that's like a nice version, you know, a cheap version of silk. And it is vintage because there's no website address on there. So I am writing the fact that it is vintage. But it feels really, really silky. Um, I love it. I probably would wear it technically. So yeah, really nice little find. I'm gonna have to have a good look. This will be like a one-off. I know that some people are able to get like 40 or 50 pounds for these things, so we will see. We will see. Is this what I'm thinking? No, I can't find it. I think the thing is, is because I've got so many boxes of stuff, um, because I like bring home like three or four items most days that I work, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, so this that I thought was William Morris isn't William Morris. <laughs> so we have got a uh, size 10. I thought it was bigger than that. Um, fat face. Why are these fat faces now like curling up just to annoy me? So yeah, just a shirt dress. Basic thing for my shop. Should be able to get 20 to 25 for that. Um, a pocket that's hanging out I hope it doesn't have a belt because it certainly ain't there oh no here it is it's built in so it's one of those where if it retracts let's tie it if it retracts you've got a lot of hassle wheedling it back out of the dress so let's hope that that doesn't happen yeah so a really nice almost maxi I think dress yeah it must it is maxi because it's only size 10 isn't it um, once upon a time was a size 10 so i didn't understand the concept of size 10 ing whatever that may mean um a fat face top just basic i will put that on auction for 9.99 so that's why i've picked that up um i've just sold one for example it was on auction but i got an offer of 12 pounds so i just took it i don't mind with these things because they're just you know 10 a penny but i will try and make sure that what i'm picking up with fat face it's something patterned and appealing and different. So it's got like a button bit there. You know, it's a bit ethnic. It's probably cotton. Um, it's probably cotton and it's probably made in India. No, it's viscose, but it is made in India. If it's cotton and it's made in India, you can get away with saying Indian cotton, which, you know, is a bit of a boon. So there we are. I've got that. So, yeah, that'll go on a 9 99 auction. What's this? I think this is monsoon i don't always pick up monsoon and i see it all the time in the shop and i do leave the lion's share of it but if it's a nice print i'll take it so i took this one because it's a gorgeous color um what else it's only a size small you know i'll try and pick up larger sizes but you know this nice stretch dress it's a bit you know it's no it's not maxi it's midi 
uh, yeah, so I, th I thought, well, that'll, that'll be okay. That will have been four pounds. Um, I think that other one would have been four pounds. The dresses are more or less four pounds, not three pounds in the shop. This was, this was um, definitely um, four pounds because I was umming and ahhing about it. I was umming and ahhing about it and I think I put it, I put, I, I did um, research it before I left the shop just in case because I had another William Morris, I found another William Morris H&M thing and I looked up and it just wasn't commanding the prices so I left that and um, somebody else snapped it up so it doesn't matter but this is next William Morris just a basic dress, long sleeved, so not necessarily, you know, what people want. But I will try and get 30 for this because it's a size 18. So when I looked it up, you can't see there because it's still got the toggle from the shop on it. Um, let's just shift it a bit because I'll need to press this. Otherwise, I'll get an item not as described. Uh, Buy it. The seller said that it was a size 18. Nowhere on the dress does it say size 18. Uh, what I did? Right, yeah. So there we are. Size 18. The larger sizes seem to be doing okay. So I'll put it up for 30. I'll probably take 25 for it. So hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, put that on the dress pile, idiot. Yeah, I... It's hard to know sometimes. Sometimes you get something and it just flies out the door and then other times you end up stuck with something. So this is John Smedley. I haven't checked it for holes. So I'm going to be filled with regret once I get this on the ironing board. Um, paid four pounds for this. It's, oh, it's got gauze on it. What is it with people and gauze? Um, yeah, so that's going to go to one side. So again, because it needs laundering, and if I I put my washing machine on overnight, so uh, because the electric light in in here is like the original that um, was invented by Edison, it's not very bright when it comes to it. So I find it very hard to remember where the stains were. I need to remove so it's just got a really marginal white gauze stain on it so you know it's always nice to get a bit of extra so yeah uh, just a jumper there so that needs a wash now John Smedley that needs I need to spray that anyway because that looks like it's got sweat on the flipping thingy and then again and you know like I say there'll probably be a thing on here so this would be like extra fine merino or um, sea island cotton uh, so yeah, it's merino wool. You've got to get the finger skills. See, I hadn't even looked at that and I knew what it was. So that goes on the laundry pile. Uh, um, yeah, I've paid four pounds for that. I should get 30. And I will just put my price up and wait. Uh, same with these, I'm going to put my price up and wait. Oh, this has got a stain on it, for the love of God looks like toothpaste if you can get a toothpaste stain on the very hem of your, your uh, trouser you know it's more than most of us can manage I found this this was hanging up this has been there for days on end and nobody picked it up weird so <laughs> just a black pair of trousers these are very heavyweight these are very winter but full elasticated waist um, these are black Last time I had a pair of Sahara trousers, they were flipping black and the person implied that they were navy. I know that these are black. I can see that it's black against my television. You can see that it's black. This is my black microphone. This is my black microphone against this black item. It's black. And then the person who buys it will say, item was navy. No. Anyway hardly ever find this brand Sahara and I've managed to find it in an XL I have a I have a Sahara item at the moment which is um hasn't sold <laughs> hasn't sold and um it's a linen top 
so please buy my items what have we got here levi's chinos these are very faded now you see yes these this is black um but this is very faded look at the microphone again oh it's faded I've seen some chinos before which I've left behind and then I've seen other people like getting the same chinos and doing really well on it so I thought right okay well we'll do it we'll we'll try again we'll try again uh yeah so this is yeah this is <laughs> this is Levi's I've had to move the setup and delete because I haven't got enough memory because I'm rubbish um I'm gonna get a new phone to be honest um yes so 32 leg 32 waist average average let's see where we go with them i don't know how well i'm gonna do it's probably you know somebody else's luck which i don't have in selling them um but anyway i do regularly sell levi's so i have a pair here so those are five pounds no those were four pounds of chinos these were five pounds the Levi's are always going for like five pounds now. Um, these are probably quite new because there's still, there's somebody's left the stupid like tag in there <laughs> from when they were new. Uh, so 501s, uh, can't go wrong with 501s. Honestly, if you're picking up Levi's, just to make sure that you check that the crotch is okay um, and the other things. It's, this is the big E, apparently, but I really don't know what that means. People rave about the big E, and I don't know what that means. I just don't know what it means. This, I think I've shown in a previous haul, uh, but I've just pulled that out because I've got some white stuff that needs um, laundering, and this is covered in stains at the front there. I'm sure you can't see, but it's got, it's got dinner, somebody's dinner all over the front of that. Um, and this is a brand which I've never sold before. Scar and Soul. I'm sure I've shown this in a previous haul. But I picked that up just to give it a whirl. Because it's a nice print. But it does need washing. So that's going to go on my wash pile. To wash it. But it needs dealing with soon as. Because men are very, very lateral. Um, women will shop for any type you know any clothing all year long um men only shop for what they need at the time of year that it is um we had a whole rack of shorts which we put out at the charity shop and they literally went within a week of it becoming hot weather they just literally <laughs> they'd been there for a while and then it was just like right it's hot weather now all the shorts were gone all the t-shirts which were practically overflowing there's like space on them to move them now really weird they are just so so lateral in the way they purchase so you know if you're not selling menswear that you've expected to wear you've expected to sell it's because they men are very seasonal and very practical and they buy things at the time they will not plan ahead um i have sold knitwear though this week but it's to women because they know that um the cashmere cash in can take place um, over the summer months. So yeah, pretty green there. Very fussy about pretty green. I've left something this morning, had a little bit of, they left something this week, which was a black t-shirt with a little bit of like embroidered sort of uh, paisley on it. But because it was just black, I left it because it was a small size, I left it um, <laughs> because the people who I work with kindly priced it for five pounds, I, I left it. <laughs> but yeah. This is a sort of like floral that might go well. It is a wintry floral, I suppose. Um, you know, it's a bit like the holly and the ivy, I suppose. But I'll get that on. I don't know how long I was thinking around. I just, because I've got to haul the um, mannequin out, I may as well do it at the same time. Because I know that I've got to list this now, otherwise it won't sell um so again i'm very picky with that so this is a fred perry but it's 2xl 2xl yeah 2xl i haven't shown this to my husband 
Um, I know he won't want it because it's short. He likes a long t-shirt to cover his belly. So, you know, I'm not like being cruel <laughs> to, to him by not showing by not showing him that. But yeah, I've paid five pounds for this as well because it's um Fred because it's Fred Perry and it's obvious. Uh yeah, so I've got to get that on now because men are lateral and then they only buy short sleeves in the summer. So uh, there's that that's it, that's the story. I have a whistles what is this? Is this a dress? Is it a dress? I think it's a dress. It's just gotta be a dress. Um yeah, whistles the size labels in the seam, so I'll show it to you first. So yeah, just a burgundy thing, shirt, dress, and saying whistles. Um I think it's a size twelve to work elf. Oh look, it's got the thingy on it. I did think it was a bit um uh, 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 uh fresh feeling if you know what I mean like crisp uh, it's only a small so yeah it's definitely a dress I've possibly paid four pounds for this I'm very picky with whistles um nothing special about that other than what you see it's a rag really let's face it um why did I pick this up I've seen this and I know that this is one of these things that kept falling off the hanger and then I just thought Oh, do you know, it's it's fate. If it keeps falling off the hanger and it's in my path, it's fate. I should take it. So I need to get this on Sharpish because this is summery. Oliver bonus. This will be auction fodder. Um, it's like, it's got that, you know, that a crinkle that you have in your tablecloths back in the 80s, <laughs> the 70s and the 80s. So that might sell um, for the two weeks that we've got left of summer. I mean, I know that the kids aren't are supposedly not even on, uh, broken up yet. Oh, I've got another vintage monsoon here, apparently. This must be why I was thinking that was a bigger size than it actually is. So, yeah, I've got another vintage monsoon. This is what the vintage label looks like. Um, I think I've probably made a mistake here because I don't look at anything because I just put it to one side. Yeah, so it's got a little pull in it there. Uh, that can just be cut off. So this is 91% silk and 9% elastine. There ain't no stretch in this, mate. No, if <laughs> there's no stretch in this, <laughs> maybe it's just a little bit of stretch to stop the seams from busting as they often do with silk. But yeah, it's brown. Do people really want brown? We're gonna find out because this is mine now to sell on. So yeah, a really boring black brown. Well, it's shimmery, isn't it? It's shimmery, but um, yeah, based on the fact that it was silk, that's <laughs> I've brought that home. That's probably a faux pas. But there you go. These look like Ted Baker. Yes, they are. I had a load of these um, a couple of years ago <coughs> and did really well on them. So. But I think, again, it was winter months, so I'm probably going to have to wait until a man is feeling cold enough to want to buy this Ted Baker pair of trousers. I'll get 20 for them. Literally, there's not much more in the market for that. These should go fairly sharpish, I think. I was just wondering why it said fried frog on it. I am so sorry, guys. I'm sorry, it's just so fried frog on here. Um, these are Joe Browns. Um, I had a pair of Joe Brown shorts just recently and they sold really fast. Uh, but these are, you know, typically nice and embellished. You know, got the embroidery details. Uh, I'm not sure if these are... I mean, actually, they look like my um, size. But I won't be allowed to wear them because it's fried frog on here. Get told off by these lot. Uh, yeah, so size 12, possibly cropped length, possibly just perfect for somebody as short as me. So hopefully 20 for them. They're a bit wide, they're well, a bit, a bit. They're wide leg, they're nice jeans. They need to be on now. Somebody will be wanting to rock them this summer. This has been in a haul previously. Oh no, I'm thinking of something else. This is bound to have marks on it. Why on earth have I run the risk with this? 
the worst thing about white items is you end up looking at the crotch and are filled with regret so this is sandro i do like picking up sandro it does sell really well she says wondering whether her shop has any stagnant sandro in it yeah so sandro white jeans obviously people only wear white jeans around this time of year because of splashing but i got splashed yesterday because it was raining yesterday um no the crotch i'm just very reluctant now to look at the crotch <laughs> yes yeah, this sandro i prefer the dresses and the coats and the other things of that but apparently i found a pair of jeans they've got um intentional distressing on them which is always a bit annoying because people could say that they were fraud but that's intentional i think that the majority of this has been in the previous video i think i've just put it to one side because it felt wintry i think i've shown you this uh what's this this is a levi's um heavyweight shirt you know very wintry so yeah we'll just get it done while i've got the mannequin out i need to get through everything so that i know where i stand because it's becoming a headache edwin jeans i'm sure i've shown you these before i love finding edwin but i don't think these are um all that great um now i'm thinking of something i'm thinking of um nudie jeans i think they've got nudie jeans somewhere anyway edwin jeans i'll um talk you through them in case i haven't put these in a haul previously uh, they do um japanese selvage these are not japanese selvage whatsoever <laughs> but they do japanese selvage and they're the ones which will sell well but i will get you know 25 to 30 for them hopefully these are just things that are going to go in my buy now let's face it jeans are so easy to list i have another big box of jeans in there which is why i'm not sure what the hell i've shown and what i haven't oh these are nice and crispy and new wow <laughs> another pair of levi's uh 34 by 34 so that will sell really well 311 3115 511 i think they're unisex i don't know i've got a list somewhere of what they are uh right so i say i've got a list of that i really hope that i did properly screenshot it because it was on my Instagram, which is now gone. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Levi's, standard, probably list for 30, happily take 25 to 20 on them because they're 10 a penny. What have I got here? I have got a Hobbs wool skirt. I think I probably haven't shown you this and I've just popped it to one side because it was things like a wool skirt <laughs> I mean there probably is very little point in me listing this at the moment um, but never mind let's just get things processed I don't think there's any point in me having stuff kicking around because there's always you know somebody might be looking for that wool skirt because nobody else is selling a wool skirt it's like black jackets I've put black jackets on because people die throughout the year and sometimes you need one for a funeral yeah so a Hobbs nice wool skirt there doesn't look like there's any like the damage to it. I think it's actually quite a nice little cut that. So somebody may well want it, and it is size 14. So that's, you know, not bad, not bad. What, what's the content? Don't know at the moment. All polyester and the rest of it. We didn't put any cashmere in it today, darling. What have we got here? I've got a jumper here. Yeah, I know it's not. So this is, this is winter wear that i've obviously flung in here never mind i'll get it done never mind because it can just always be relisted and relisted and you know and somebody might be just looking for it and they'll buy it so it doesn't matter it's a size 16 white white the white stuff uh block color jumper probably just cotton probably doesn't have anything spectacular in it uh yeah just cotton the rest of it cotton and a few of those other things thrown in just get it done there's no i just feel there's no point in me having things sat around 
So, this box, which I'm in the process of emptying here, that's what it's got left. So, if you aren't interested in finding out what these are, then, you know, this is not the video for you. <laughs> so, I have got a boyfriend skinny uh, jean there. Levi's. Just a standard. So, we'll get them on. Again, Levi's. I have checked whether these are fake or not. This is perfectly slimming. Perfectly slimming jean. Blue. Nice cotton twill. Doesn't seem like it's been worn. Is that a mark or is that not? I'm just going to put a peg on that. There's a little something on there. It feels like brand new, like never worn, but I think that that might be, uh, you know, when you have a sticker on something that's been on there for too long and the adhesive's on there. So I'm just going to try and like sort that out with the iron spray because I can. Why not? I think these are all Levi's. I must have just put them all to one side. So, yeah, you can barely see that, but that's black Levi's 511 again. I had a whole load of 511s I put on. So, it's really weird that I've got a whole load of mirror. mirror. These are 34 by 34. My pile has fallen over. Oh, so I have a chino material in brown. Again, a 911, 911, a 511, uh, 34 by 34, yeah, same donor. And then again, faded stone wash, 511, 34 by 34. So we'll get them done because I find that I list my levers and they can sit there and they can sit there and they can sit there and then suddenly they'll just start selling. And provided I've got loads of Levi's on, it'll have a snowball effect and then they'll all start selling because it just bumps your algorithm up. So I need to get them all on. There's no point in them sitting in a box. Things don't sell sat in a box unlisted in my other room and they just annoy the hell out of me because they're falling all over. So I'm going to get all that processed today and I'm sorry that this is such a long video. I apologise to myself because I've had to go over to the computer, upload half the video and then start re-recording it. Um, because I've ran out of memory because I was going to delete I mean I'm really glad that I never did this digital um, decluttering on my phone I was going to delete a whole load of stuff from my phone photos but now I realise that a lot of that was duplicates from Instagram and now I'm probably quite thankful that they're there because otherwise those photos would have been lost forever anyway I have to crack on with getting this ironed um, and process try and get some things listed today I'm not too sure about the light today might be a tomorrow morning type thing it's weird sometimes the afternoon is the better time for photos but then you get a funny shadow sometimes I find the morning is okay sometimes I find that the it just totally depends on what the coloring of the garment is is that to for example that's this this the um the Sahara um, linen garment that I had, I took photos of it in the morning and I felt that the yellow of it was just, it, it had made it too like limey yellow and it wasn't reflective of what it is in real life. So that was a morning photo. And then I tried, and then I, on another session I was doing, I retook my photos of an afternoon and they were completely washed out and the garment looked white, really weird. So, even though I use natural light for my photos, it's no guarantee. So I ended up going with the morning photos because at least they showed that it was yellow. So I'm just hoping that whenever the person who buys it, buys it, they're okay with the colouring. It's just, it's swings and roundabouts. For example, midday, with these windows that I have here, I end up with terrible rhombuses of light on the floor so it makes the flat layers difficult. There's just no real best time of the day so we will see anyway thank you for watching my haul i will be back with more i do have 
lots of boxes of stuff which need processing i'm just gonna i've decided that i just need to just pick a pick just pick the box that bring it in here and deal with it whatever it is even though it's a mix of summer and winter wear i just need to get it on and get it listed because somebody might buy it so yes thank you for watching goodbye from me goodbye from them i'll be back again soon